Boy Dream. Make it. I don't want to watch a scary movie. Don't be such a baby mom, it's not even that scary. I swear there was a clone on there. We watched it in scary movies. But I'm going to bed. time here. I'm depressed. I don't want to go. What do you want from me? Look, I want you and me to go out to a beach condo with our friends and have a good time. Our friends. Our friends. They're your friends. We're married. They're not even married. Why the hell should I have to go somewhere if I don't want to go? Because you're my wife and I'd really like you to and I know you're not doing anything today so can we just go together and unwind? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, taking your wife to the coast is really going to help. I mean, you know what the doctor says? If I can't be happy here, then how am I going to be happy somewhere else? Can you just grab your bags? I don't want to go. Did you not pa even pack your bags last night when I asked you to? You know what, Big Shot? I'm your wife. I'm not your daughter. So quit talking to me like that. Okay. Um, did you forget your med... Did you? I. This is not the right time for you to forget your meds. I. I've not taken like, my meds in months, but you wouldn't know that now, would you? Because you don't ever spend any time with me. All you want to do is spend time with your friends. Exactly. Exactly. That's what I want to do right now. I want to take you out right now and spend time with you. We can reconnect like we haven't done in a very, very long time. Okay. So, can can you grab your bags and? Will you hold my hand?
for a while. Your friends, not mine. Well, I think it just gives us a chance to do a little bit of uh, whatever we want to do. And exactly what would that be? Well, I can think of a few things we haven't done in a while. Like ghost hunting? Yeah, let's go do that. That's where he used to live, Shane McClendon. Oh really? What's so great about this guy? He's a mystery writer. And what do you write about? Clowns. Ah, yeah, clowns. My favorite topic. And That's then, sarcasm, by the way. I know you had a traumatic childhood experience, but you can't let it define who you are. Right, so uh, why do you find this McCracken guy so interesting? It's not McCracken, it's Shane McClendon. I find clowns interesting because they've been around forever. Pygmy clowns were used to entertain the pharaohs. Oh, did they? Yes, they did. And then there were some in ancient Rome and the Jester in medieval times. Right, so what did this Macaulay guy use all this history junk for anyway? It's McClendon. And he says that there is a mythical quality to them, that they will always be there for entertainment. If we ever turn away from them, the consequences could be very severe. I'm going in. Just not feeling it right now? Nope, I'm feeling inspired and I haven't felt this way in a while. Yeah, okay, I'm just gonna leave you be.
This is the place? Yep, this is the place where you and I tied the knot. Want to relive the moment? I watched our wedding video recently. Good. And who did we get to do that again, huh? Sank Studios. That's right. I thought they just made high quality movies. I forgot that they did wedding videos. Anyway, so I'm standing over here and you standing way over there. Okay. And then we start the processional. Da dun da 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 Okay, and then he said something like, Joy, do you take this man to be your lawfully wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forth? In sickness and in health. Till death do us part, and I said, I do. And then I said something similar. You can't just skip over it. All right, all right. Uh, Kevin, do you take this woman to be your lawfully wedded wife, to have and to hold? From this day forward, till death do you part. And I said, I do. And then you gave me a ring or something? Mm -hmm. And then you did the same? And then we did the unity sand. Now I think I remember something about a kiss. <sighs> Dang it. Hey, hello? Yeah, you guys are running a little bit late. No, that's fine, that's, that's normal. Yeah, we're probably gonna go get checked in at our hotel. Yeah, yeah, I know there's plenty of space at the condo. I just, uh, I want you to have your privacy to do your thing and us to have our privacy to do our things, you know what I mean? Well, uh, you have a good dinner.
couple stuff, you know? Yeah, I need to bring your wife here? Yeah, yeah, she's in the back. Oh, cool. Let me grab her. Oh, I left mine at home. <laughs> Good thing I found Fisher. Your wife, huh? Come on. Leslie! Have you met Joy? I have not met Joy. It's so good to meet you. I've heard so much about you. Every time he opens his mouth at work, it's just joy, 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 joy. Really? Yes. Mm -hmm. You know what he always says? Look at my ring. <laughs> well, you know, rings used to mean something. Now they're not much good, more good than a paperweight. Ain't that right, Leslie? <laughs> uh, That's really funny, Kev. Mm -hmm. I'll just pretend that you didn't say that. <laughs> I want us all to get along this weekend, and look, he brought so much booze, we're set there. Well, you know, you should be able to afford a bottle or two. I see you were in the army. Uh, no, uh, my father was. Veterinarian's actually what he meant to say. Oh, so you work with animals. Yeah, I do. That is really rewarding. You should have me bring you down to the hospital sometime. We don't have any pets. You don't have to have any pets to enjoy a, a good vet clinic. I mean, we got lots of them around. Some of them need some good homes. Mm -hmm. I mean, you got a good man here. All you need sometimes to make a house into a home is a pet or two. How many do you have? I don't bring my work home with me. Hey, does anybody want anything? Keep them coming, Ace. Just getting started. Mm-hmm. for a little bit. I work from home. You work from home? Not everybody has that luxury. I wish I did. What do you do? I'm a writer. You're a writer? Wow. What have you written? I've written several short stories, a couple of poems. Where can I find them? You can find them online. Uh, um, upload them digitally. You can download them to your reading device. <laughs> to my reading device? I think they just call that a cell phone now. Most everybody I know already has a cell phone. Well, I don't. Really? How do you keep in touch with that good-looking hunk over there? Hey, what do you have, her grounded or something, Kevin? No, no, it was actually her decision. She prefers to only use a house phone. A landline? We save yep. money. I mean, I save $350 a year. Um, I mean, why do I need a cell phone? I work from home. I'm not roaming around like you guys. Well, I mean, I'm at the office more than I'm at home, but, you know, I still have a cell phone. I'm oh, sure you do. You've got to have some way to get your booty call. I mean, you know that Leslie and I do more than just mess around, right? Oh, yeah, I know. I mean, she goes off with another man every time after you scratch your itch that you have. I mean, I understand that y'all are just fuck buddies and all, but, I mean, my opinion of marriage is more sacred. Whoa, well, we didn't come here for, like, some kind of sermon there, Reverend Joy. Are you just going to sit there and let her talk to your friends that way? 
Look, honey, can Don't you Don't honey me. Honey. You should have just left me at home. I didn't even want to come. These are your friends. These are not my friends. You should have left me at home in my office writing, doing the things that I like to do. Not this. I mean, can I get you on the thing? But she's not yeah. going to be like this all weekend, is she? I'm sorry about this, guys. Um, she's been off her meds. Why is she on medication anyway? She lost her mom. It's been a little while and the doctors still haven't found the right thing for her. Like antidepressants. Mm -hmm. I've never had that problem. I've always been a happy camper. Well, you know, it sometimes takes a while to get the right product down, the right dosage. But let me tell you, once they find the right thing, it's like turning from a cloud over your head to a bright, sunny day. It's excellent. You know, even pets get depressed. I mean, it's not just a human thing. Mm -hmm. Hold on. It's gonna be like this all weekend. I told you not to bring me. What am I gonna do? Leave my wife at home? I shall at least I didn't sign you up for parasailing this time. It's a good thing you didn't because it would have been a waste of your money. Our money. It's our money, Joy. Don't you get that we're a team here? Look, I've been trying to give you space, but I don't know what's going on here. This space is becoming a giant chasm and I don't know how much more space you need. <laughs> you wouldn't say. Snap out of it, Joy. Snap come on, no, no, what? come back to reality. Snap out this of what? I mean, maybe forever. this is who I am. It's, this is not who you are. This is not the woman that we, I married. You, you, yeah, because all you care about is the sex. It's just the sex. It's all about what you want. I mean, if you need it that bad, why don't you just go get it from Wesley? I mean, I don't have a problem with that. Everybody else has. You don't even know these people. <laughs> I know enough, and I know enough that I'm not going to last this entire weekend here. So, good thing I brought my computer. Yeah, sure, why don't you go spend some quality time with your computer? No, it's I fine, will. take all the I time will. you need. No, come back. Sure. Joy, calm down. Calm down, Joy. Stop. This is a guy. For you. What? Oh my god. Arnie, what are you doing here? What? A man can't check up on his wife? How did you even find me here? You used our credit cards. I see Fisher's here. Guess you guys are having a good time. It's not what it looks like. Really? Because what it looks like is you're shacking up with my wife. There's something going on. You're damn right there's something going on.
You're running ahead. No, you I'm gotta go. Leaving. I'm gonna stay I'm here. I'm not leaving you. I'm gonna stay here and hold them no, off. No, we you gotta got gather. You're important to me. You've gotta go. Did you get it through your head? You're going with me. I'm not leaving you. Look, there are these clowns that are gonna keep coming and coming until somebody takes a Look, stand. Look, just take off your belt. Sweetheart, it's turned on as I am. I mean, this isn't the time for to be adventurous. Get your head out of the gutter. Just take off your belt. We're gonna take them down. I'm gonna hold one in. You're gonna hold the other. We're gonna close line them. You still got that knife, right? Stab them till they stop moving. I really like this idea. strippers at damn sure it's time for any packages. We just need to use your phone. You know I got a phone? Please. Yeah, you know, she uses a landline and I forgot mine. Look, some people are after trying to kill us. Please just let us in. I just need to use your phone and then we'll be out of your hair. Look, I'm All right. So if you do anything, I got nine millimeter problems right here. Yeah, fine. Go. You threatening people again, Ray? We got some freeloaders saying that there's people out there trying to kill them. Is that so? Who is trying to kill you? Clowns. Clowns? Yes, yeah, clowns. Clowns? What kind of bullshit story is that? It's like I think it's just some dumb kids trying to play a prank. No, if you would just let us use your phone so we can call the police. We are the police. Look and. I think what my buddy's about to follow that up with is we need more information from you just so we know what we're dealing with before we call in assistance. Y'all say y'all are the police, but I need to see some ID to prove it. Lady, you came in here asking us for help. You're in no position to demand anything. And now I'm asking you for your ID. I don't have to show you shit. Look. Any law enforcement officer who is asked to provide their credentials is required by law to do so. Show us your ID. Wesley and Ray. Okay. So who the hell is this bitch? I'm Ripley. You somebody's date? Not mine. So, what are you investigators doing here in this house anyway? That's none of your business, actually. So, what, is she like a hooker or something? I'm an exotic dancer. Oh, so you just hire exotic dancers? We're wasting time until we shut the f up. What, it's not like they're here. Shut up. Listen, lady, all right? This is classified information, all right? You don't need to know anything. I'm not going to tell you two assholes just to get the f out of our house. I wouldn't do that if I were you. What are you going to do about it, big man? Look, it's not me that you got to worry about. Oh, is it her I have to worry about? Yeah. What's your hand, sweetheart? <laughs> sure, sweetheart, big man. Look, I don't know what your f***ing problem is, all right? But you've got more shit to worry about than us because apparently some f***ing clowns are trying to kill you. <laughs> and that's why we're asking you to use your phone. 
but just let them use the landline and just get them out of here. I have some arrangements I need to attend to. Oh, I'm fine, darling. I'll dance when you want me to. Okay. It's in the kitchen. Don't stick your head in the oven. I like her. Well, she can be your hot date. I wish. First guy here really Captain Platt. <laughs> I'm not getting a dial tone. What's wrong? I can't get a dial tone. Everything okay in here? I just saw one. You saw what? A clown? Did you see it too? I was standing over there. Well, did you call who you needed? I couldn't get a dial tone. Here, let me try. No, somebody cut the line here. Let me try myself. No signal. Hey, Ray, do you have any uh, reception? Dude, I'm not worried about reception right now. I'm worried about these two motherfuckers. I don't even know who these motherfuckers are. Who are y'all? I'm Kevin. I'm Joy. Oh, joy. Just a bundle of joy, aren't we? Uh, well, I'm sorry, you two, but we're actually waiting on someone very important right now. Who are you waiting on? Agent Arnold Paul. You shut the f up. What? I find it funny how, as soon as we're waiting on this person, we don't have a cell phone. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Arnold Palmer. You, you not talking about Arnie, are you? He was killed earlier. By the clowns. Yeah, look, we didn't see it. Um, we only heard it, it was in the other room, but... Gosh, Arnie's wife was... He was banging this other... Okay, uh, his wife was cheating on him with this other guy. Two clowns come in, stab her, stab her boyfriend. We find their bodies. He couldn't have been hard, far behind. Enough is enough. I'm sick and tired of hearing about these motherfucking clowns. There's no clowns. Stop. Cut the shit. All right? Stop. God. You know what? I think they're hiding something. Get against the wall. Hiding what? Get against the wall. Whoa, whoa, hey, what's going on? You. We don't have that at all. What are you doing? How are we supposed to know that? Get against the wall. You're not going to touch me like that. Oh, I'm going to touch you however I want to, sweetheart. So, you two exclusive? <laughs> We're married, dumbass. Oh, come on. Married is like a good pair of shoes. Sometimes you got to try something else out. See if you like anything. I'm not that damn desperate. So where's this blocker you're talking about? Hey, yeah. Aren't you going to frisk her too? Well, I was going to until you two came in here, but I'll see enough to know soon that she doesn't have Oh, no, anymore. you're going to frisk her. You frisked us, you're going to frisk her. No, she can wait. She can't wait. If you're not going to do it, then I'm going to frisk her. You're serious? Yeah, I'm serious. She's not law enforcement. Stand up. Actually, you're a Are you serious? I want to see serious. this. Stand up. Do you have a purse? Does it look like I have a purse? Can I go to the master and wait for when you want your dance love? Yeah, I'll get everything settled here and then I'll be back there soon. You have a bathroom? No, we pee on newspaper here. Of course <laughs> I have a bathroom. We gotta go to number one, number two. I gotta wash the blood off my hands. There's a sink in the kitchen. I'm not going in that kitchen. I just got through seeing a clown out that window. You can go check it out first. You think we're afraid to look around? You go check it out. I'll show you. No. One at a time, big man. So you're holding a prisoner here? Can't talk about it. 
Is that why you have a stripper here? You plan on having the house to yourself? Don't try and get under my skin, lady. Sorry, I'm just trying to understand where you guys are coming from. Are you done washing your hands yet? I'm trying. I'm trying to get this blood off. I need to go to the bathroom. Alright, well, when you get done, just make it quick. I can't go to the bathroom if you're standing there watching me. I won't peek. So you're hitting that? We're married. It doesn't mean anything. I heard the average couple has sex like once a week. That would drive me nuts. Maybe you shouldn't get married. Well, life happens. Uh, Alright, Kevin. You're right. Let's do this. You have to go to the bathroom, you'll watch. You watched my wife use the restroom? Damn, dude, I didn't know you were in that for a few No, look, I turned around, alright? I'm not gonna leave her unattended when there's somebody from the top ten list right in the next room. There's somebody from the top ten list in this house. Hey, right. you keep asking, we ain't telling shit. Well, that's not very fair. Not very fair. I'll tell you what's not very fair. We have somebody from the top ten list here and my partner, my other partner, was supposed to come relieve me. But apparently he can't because he's dead. So how convenient. How very, very convenient. You don't have a phone to show me the info. You don't have a phone to call somebody. So I'm sorry if I seem a little stressed out. But I just really, really want to join my dance right about now. So you decide, decide to go get your jollies by watching us use the restroom, is that it? Do you want to follow me to the bathroom? Or do you want to wash your hands in the kitchen? Frankly, I don't give a shit. Yeah. You can use the restroom, Wesley. You can probably slip by me if you want. Oh, I would love it so much, but I'd probably throw up in my mouth just a little bit. Where are you talking? You can't handle a man like me? It's what's below the belt that matters, not what's sitting on top. Damn. Come off my meds. Me too. Well, that's the only thing we have in common. Apparently. Look, I don't know what prank you're trying to pull, but it's played out. And it's not funny. It's not a prank. You can go check yourself. And what? Leave the house for you so you can go check for the prisoner? Look, we know what's out there. You don't even care to find out. All you care about is getting your little party going. Look, we've been watching this guy for a week. No pussy, no alcohol, no partying. I want to have a good time and my partner decides that he doesn't want to show up. So it's not my damn fault that circumstances arose the way they did. He's dead, Wesley. Well, see, you keep saying that. But see, this is what I think. I find it very hard to believe that you and your wife, you know what? You're both out of your mind. And this is what's gonna happen right now. You and Ray are gonna go out there, you're gonna find me evidence, you're gonna bring that evidence back to me, and we're gonna sort this shit out. Just like that? Yep. I'm not going out there. It's either you or your wife. No, we're not sending her out there. Well, then you go, and I won't have to. All right. Damn, Wes took you long enough. We were in there watching him take a shit. No, we were just talking some things through. We decided, you gotta take him on a little walk. Why do I have to do it? Alright, fine, I'll do it. But what about the girl? What about a little party? Mm, I don't know. 
I won't be able to concentrate. You get a handcuffer? I'm not a prisoner. You can't put me in cuffs. She's absolutely right. You can't put her in cuffs. But the rules say nothing about zip ties. Hey, you're not going to zip tie my wife. What? You gotta be kidding me. Well, I'm not. I'm this, really not. You this know, is bullshit. I'm gonna report this. How? May I ask? You don't have a cell phone. Hell, I don't even have a cell phone. But I'll tell you what I do have. A hot date. And I'll be damned if I'm gonna let y'all ruin it. Right? Sweetheart. I love you too. But wait. If I don't make it back, I want you to know that I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing? Because I took you on this stupid trip that you didn't want to go on in the first place. I'm sorry. We're only trying to help get me back out into the world. And it worked. Come on. You can give us a minute or something? Maybe when we get back, we can make s'mores and shit. It's gonna be okay. Let's go. I don't see any evidence that supports your claim, sir. Yeah, that's it. Me and my wife have been lying about the whole damn thing. Why are you just going to take us to the nearest insane asylum? It'll work out better that way. How about I take you around to the back of the house and let the clowns get you? And then I can go back inside and show your hot ass wife a good time. Do you have to be so rapey? It's not rape. She wants this body. Life doesn't have to be about a competition. Ray. Says you. Call me Joy. 
Well, I kind of picture you for hope or something. Why is that? Because you come in here and you take this bag off my head. That gives me a lot of hope. Oh, well, I'm not going to help you escape or anything. I just wanted to come in here and talk to you for a bit. And why is that? Because I'm a writer. I like to meet new people. I mean, who knows? Um, you may end up in a work of fiction someday. <laughs> that would be something. So I could be reading something one day or watching a movie and then, bam, there you are. And there I am, Martinez. So if I were to ever write about you, would you want me to change your name? Why would you? It's the only thing I have left since they locked me up. I have nothing else. It's my family name. So does your family know that you're a criminal? No more familiar. That's why it's so important to me. It's all I have. Just like you. You should appreciate the things you have. Well, I'm gonna go back out there. I ain't going nowhere. Time for the show. It's about time. I never thought I'd get you along. <laughs> I have my ways. Do you like what I'm wearing? Yes, I do. You're not supposed to. You're supposed to say that you don't like what I'm wearing, so I'll take it off. That's what I meant. Tell you what. I was going to use you as some clown bait. <laughs> See if they're real. I'm okay. going to give you to the count of ten. So start walking. Are you... Are you serious? Let's see what I got in my special bag of tricks. But you have more outfits in there? Yes, you'll like this one. One. Two. Three. was going to let you roll over on him so easily? Wasn't expecting you to find me this quickly. Guess it's simple enough. Let's get it over with. I wish it were that simple. But I have a special request to bring back certain parts of your anatomy. You like that? Look, you don't have to do this. You're all behind you. Yeah, like I'm really going to fall I'm for that. I'm serious. Behind you. Joy! Joy, you alright? Hey. Yeah, I'm fine. What's going on? Looks what like... What happened? Come here. Looks like you've been in a fight. What happened? Yeah, me and Ripley got into a disagreement. Really? Yeah. Ray figured out that... Clowns do exist. Where do you think Ripley went now? Where is she? I don't know where she went.
Stop! Not those two. Vamos. <laughs>